Welcome back in the second break for Isle of ASEAN. And as I said, we are bringing you guys to Salaya International Documentary Film Festival, the place where documentary filmmakers met to show their film and to talk about their films. How is it going to be? Let's see. In Thailand each year, there might be one or two documentary features released in limited cinema. Meanwhile, documentary films have been highlighted by international film festivals in recent years and have become popular shown due to its superb quality to convey the truth and voice of the people. Seeing this change in trend, Film Archive Public Organization would like provide the audience with the wider range of documentary, not only to see more Thai documentary, but also documentary in the ASEAN region and masterpiece from around the world. We would like to encourage. So last year, with the support of the Film Archive, we initiated the first Salaya International Documentary Film Festival here, and we had workshop uh, with the filmmaker from Japan and China. So uh, even it's a, it's a very small festival, but we we, we see um, the results that it's really encouraged a lot of local filmmaker in terms of. Um, the products of um, their work and so we would like to keep continue so this that's why we have the second year in the festival there are 18 documentary films with most of them are from southeast asia through these films we can learn our neighboring cultures social values and politics even the suffering of people life after disaster for example, the documentary film T11, two weeks after March 11, four men in an RV vehicle were driving around the disaster stricken area. Yasuoka Takaharu, Watai Takeharu, Masubayashi Yoju, and Mori Tatsuya. The were all, all documentary filmmakers. Normally, it is rare to see four documentary directors working together. It was an unusual situation brought about by an unprecedented earthquake of magnitude 9. For Mori, it had been a while since he took a camera in hand. In spite of his experienced career, he found his concerns boring him, particularly with regard to filming of the suffering. Under Water Dog, a documentary film about a filmmaker named Guy, who decided to become a volunteer help dog between Bangkok flood crisis in 2011. But everything about this work didn't like his thoughts. As I said that in Southeast Asia, we have a lot of similarity in culture, in our appearance and, and lots of things, but sometimes we, we know very little about the other like my our neighbor or something like um like we, the film that we will see in the festival shadow play from malaysia that mm -hmm. that is something very connect to us or some political situation in indonesia which is quite similar to something that happened in thailand so we have a lot to learn from each other The Black Umbrella, directed by Chaira Nisa, a documentary film, tells the story of two women who struggle for justice and work hard for a series of campaigns against human rights violation case in Indonesia. Mrs. Neneng Rampin Village, resident in Bogor, West Java, Indonesia, who lives in the land and grabbed by the military. An area of a thousand hectares originally belongs to the villager and Mr. Sumari who fight for his right to bring justice to the killer who mistakenly shot his son while he helping other wound students. During the big student demonstration in 1989 or the historical reformation movement. Su Tong is the director, Reed Harvey's a documentary film about a woman returns to Hebei while her father is getting a transfusion. Her mother is at the market. Life moves on as usual. Flashback, a young prostitute life in Beijing. She swore not to like the customers, but she developed feelings for one. She disrespect her greedy boss. She can't forget about her past pimp, who was sent to prison. 
but she is dutiful to her sick father and gives money to her mother. She returned to Beijing with its ripping. When it rains for days, harvest is impossible. Uh, maybe personally, I love documentary, and I always think documentary is so interesting. And there are so many good documentary that haven't been seen in Thailand. So, our, I think a festival is a venue that um, you can see good thing and different things. So that's why when I have the chance to work with the film archive, I I propose this project, and and then I think we will keep on doing it because uh, in terms of uh, worldwide phenomenon. Documentary is coming. It's really like um, not like in the old days, like boring or something. There are so many exciting documentaries. I think we 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 have a lot of good uh, resource in in the country in Thailand and in Southeast Asia, but we we just need a little bit. Uh, kind of encourage men uh, to 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 move on from the old old kind of documentary. That doc documentary can be um, different kind, not stick to only one kind that we have seen a lot. And then at the end of the day, I think documentary is still go back to the the origin of the the notion of documentary. It's like the creative process of actuality. So the actuality is very important, and also the creative process. Yeah. 뿔뿔이 흩어지던 그런 때였다. 다큐멘터리가 세상을 바꾼다는 말을 믿었던 나도 어느새 두 아이의 아버지가 되어 생활의 유혹을 느끼던 무렵이었다. 많은 신부로부터 차를 좀 쓰자는 전화를 받았다. 비전향 장기수 두 사람을 there are a lot of documentary films in Southeast Asia that need to be seen, just like these films, like a big pile of books, you have to read it one by one. Next break, let's tune in with electronic sound from Indonesia with the band called The Bottle Smoker. Stay tuned. <laughs> 